here, hope you're all well. So today we're going to make some bows and we're actually making bows out of fabric vinyl today. I get my fabric vinyl from a few places, I'm going to show you some of it later in the video and tell you where I get it from. But I get a lot of my templates from Design Space. Now you can import your own bow templates and if you don't know how to import images into Design Space, please do go and look at one of our previous videos on this. But there's two places you can get them in Design Space. You can get them from Images and Projects. So if we go to Images, and you can see I've already typed in bows, there are so many of them. And in fact, if I just remove the S and change it to bow and search again, it comes up with many, many more. Now, you can cut them in any fabric so just because it's a image in design space you can cut it in card you can cut it in paper you can do it on leather you can do it in vinyl if you want to um, you just need to adapt your cut setting so there's lots of images you can use and there's also some projects as well so we're in our projects and we're just going to type in bow and again depending on whether you type in bow or bows you'll get different projects come up so I really like working with this pattern it's really nice and simple and easy but you can work with any of them so we're just going to click on this one and we're going to go to customize and you'll see it comes up in design space like this now they're not grouped together they're not attached but if I highlight all, I can size them as one, which is what you want to do because you want to keep it all in proportion. So I'm going to size it to the width of 10 inches and then I'm just going to change the colour on each piece because I've got lots of scraps so I want to cut them out on separate mats using my scraps and then I'm going to kind of mishmash them together to make multi fabric bows which looks really nice so we're then going to go to make it now I could if I wanted to increase my project copies and I could have several of the same piece on one mat but I'm just going to do it individually today because I've got lots of different sizes of scraps I'm just going to wing it to be honest with you um, so then we're going to go to continue now I'm going to use my maker today now you can of course use your air with vinyl fabric it's already pre-stabilized on the back so you don't need to do anything to it um, so as I say I'm going to use the maker but I am going to use a normal blade and I am going to use a purple mat I'm not going to use the rotary blade today so with fabric vinyl I always cut it on a leather setting now the setting you use is going to depend on the fabric so I've got some nice thin ones in which case I use faux leather paper thin and I've also got some kind of like mermaid effect ones now normally with those I will do them in a light leather but I've also got some really chunky glitter fabric vinyl and this can be quite tricky so with that I always go for heavy leather so I'm going to use three settings today depending on the fabric I'm either going to use faux leather or I'm going to use light leather or I'll be using heavy leather. I've got my purple mat here and you are going to want to use a purple mat just because as I say it can slip and slide slightly and you're just going to place your fabric on the way that you normally would and you really want to make sure that that is fully adhered so you do want to go across with your scraper and just make sure that that is not going anywhere now you can use either a fine point or a deep cut blade I use the deep cut just because that's what's normally in my machine but you can as I say use either
So you can see that I've now cut out all my pieces and I will link to each of these fabrics so that you can find them because some of them are absolutely beautiful. I absolutely love this one here, it's one of my favourites. So all you need for the next steps is a glue gun, so mine's just heating up and I've also got these crocodile clips. You can get them from Amazon, eBay and these are just hair ones uh, that can go in your hair. You can get different types of ones but these these are fine for what I want them for. So we've got our three pieces, this is our base, this is our bow and then this will go around our bow. So the first piece I'm going to work with is our bow piece. I'm just going to get a little bit of hot glue and glue it in the centre there and then I'm going to fold my first piece over and just pinch it in place with my finger and you don't need to leave it on there for very long maybe 10-15 seconds and that will secure it in place I'm then going to put a little bit of hot glue over that piece and again I can then fold over and don't worry about any kind of um, whiskers I call them, glue whiskers you can get rid of those in a moment when it's all dry so I then place my middle piece over and I always work out how it's going to sit before I glue it. So about there is perfect. So again I'm going to go in with some glue. And just place it over and again I'm just going to pinch it for about 10 to 15 seconds. We can then go in with some glue again and just fold that over. We've then got our base and we can then sit it on our base and again we're going to go in with our hot glue and just coat that and then we can sit it on the base. We've then got our crocodile clip. Now I find it easier to glue on the fabric than the crocodile clip because the clip is cold, I guess. It dries really, really quickly. So I find it's just easier to put the glue onto the fabric and then add my clip that way. You can then go in and remove any wispy bits or glue webs, whatever you want to call them. Different people call them different things. And then we've got our beautiful bow and it really doesn't take a huge amount of effort. So I'm going to go ahead and create the rest of these. Mm -hmm. 